Hola amigos, soy Jane y esto es Fincate. Bienvenidos. At the moment, the temperatures are pretty much a steady 40 centigrade every day. Um, not sure about the conversion, but I think that's over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. What do we do to counteract the boredom? of not being able to do anything during the day. It's August. We expect to get these temperatures in August and we can pretty much guarantee on having between four and six weeks of really intense heat here, during which time it's very difficult to get anything done. The most important thing for us on the Finca is the animals that we keep. Uh, at the moment, that is chickens and our pet cats. Uh, we make sure that their needs are met. Extreme heat saps your strength and you can end up feeling really, really despondent because there's nothing you can do. So you have to be a bit clever and you have to plan. The routine for us is this. First thing in the morning, uh, we sort out the animals. Then we do whatever chores are needing done. If I need to put the oven on, it's first thing in the morning. There's no cooking later on in the day because it's too hot and you don't feel like it anyway. So. If there is still some time before the sun gets really 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 hot and you have to retreat indoors then hobbies you need a hobby i took up a new hobby this year fear not fair robin tis i maid marion i shall rescue you oh wait Apparently that's not what he meant when he said role play. He gave me this. It's a good idea to uh, plan activities or projects that can be done indoors, even if it's just surfing the internet, looking for, I don't know, a new internet provider, a cheaper internet provider. Uh, you know, these things that take loads of time, maybe all you're going to do is draw up your autumn garden plans and your planting. You may want to do some studying, uh, learn a language, Spanish even, catch up on books that you always plan to read, watch documentaries, watch films, write a book and try and keep positive because... Um, get quite depressed otherwise. And don't forget, the heat can make you so grumpy that you fall out with people for almost no reason whatsoever. No, I want to be William Tell. <coughs> I'm not playing anymore. Have your main meal of the day at lunchtime. Believe me, you will not feel like cooking in the afternoon. So, how far did you go? 68 kilometers. How many? 68. Mm -hmm. I take my hat off. I don't look good with it on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hot? No, it's all right. Cycling down the canal for the first 40 odd kilometers because it's cool down there. Must be up to 20 degrees. air conditioning. It was installed 
when we got here. We try not to use it. Money, 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 money! Yeah, we did have it on a lot while the grandchildren were here. They're not used to this kind of heat. And you do get acclimatised, honestly. You do get better at coping with it. Anyway, we try not to use the air conditioning, so there are a few things that you can do to mitigate the heat. But the truth is, there's no getting away from it. It's hot. No matter what you do, it's going to be hot. You have to accept that. As soon as the sun comes onto your windows, you close them and you put uh, shutters down or curtains closed or blinds closed and you basically live in the dark. Vampire. Yes. Until the sun has gone down. When the sun goes down, you open up all your windows and your blinds to let the heat out of the house. And if you have a tiled floor, give your floor a wash over with cold water. That does tend to help quite a bit. Thank you for watching. See you next time. I could do at short notice.